If you still have some body fat to lose, okay, we're going to have a fat burning phase. And then if you need a, a muscle to build, we're going to have anabolic phase. So how do you do this? Each meal, every three hours, you can do something to your body. First thing in the morning when I wake up, oh, that's perfect opportunity to lose some body fat because you have overnight fasting, you have no nutrients in your bloodstream. And then if you do the cardiovascular type of training that uses fatty acids as energy, not glucose like a muscle chain, fatty acids, and you didn't eat any fat, right? Then only fatty acids that can be used would be your body fat. Initiate fat burning. Purpose of cardio on empty stomach would be to burn body fat. Great. But the remainder, we need to maintain amount of calories and amount of protein to maintain our muscle so we don't catabolize it. We do want to catabolize body fat, but we don't want to catabolize muscle. So you have a frequent uh, protein uh, uh, meals, like I said, and if you listen to me, I also do uh, essential amino acids and glutamine in between meals to make sure that I have all the building material. But now I choose my energy nutrient, okay? I am ectomorphic. I don't need to lose anything. I am a hard gainer. I can give you both carbohydrates and fat in each meal. Those are the lucky ones, okay? You are endomorphic or you are uh, prone to put the body fat. I would give you just good fats, and I would uh, give you the caloric requirement. I would give you a deficit. I would give you as required because you already created fat loss initially. So now I give you good fats, avocado, whole eggs, red meat, olive oil, avocado oil, you know, good fats. Okay, nuts of any kind. Next meal, okay, for three hours, you again calculate how much protein, how much carbs you would need. Okay, this is meal before the workout. Now, for a workout, we're going to use glucose. So carbohydrates would be beneficial. If your glycogen storage is not uh, you know, completely full, it's somewhat empty, this carbohydrate meal is going to give you enough slow releasing from starchy complex carbohydrates. They have bones between the glucose molecules. Slowly, it's going to break them up, and it's not going to get that insulin spike. It's going to slowly give you more carbohydrates into your bloodstream that you can use during a training. During a training, now this is my anabolic phase of a day. This is when I want to insert everything into the muscle. This is when I do my famous pre intra post workout uh, shakes. Uh, an idea with this is I put pre digested already in supplemental form. So your body doesn't have to bring it to the digestive system and break it down. All the supplements that would make a difference, like a creatine, like a glutamine, uh, essential amino acids, BCA, a beta alanine, uh, carnitine, citrulline, everything that is beneficial, I would put in a pre workout, uh, 30 minutes before a workout. And then inter-workout, I would be sipping in between sets. So you maintain a high level of circulating amino acids and the glucose. So you need to put some carbohydrate source into the workout to maintain this high glycemia. And that carbohydrate is going to ensure release of insulin from the pancreas. And insulin is going to be in the blood. And blood is in the muscle. So every time you do any muscle contraction, whatever is in this uh, blood straight into the muscle, guaranteed. This is what I did in my Colosseum University with all the pros, with all the amateurs. I make them do it without it, and then I make them do it with it, and the difference with my body. Inter-workout, I need some simple carbs with my essential amino acids, BCAs, and everything else. It just, the purpose of that is pushing into the muscle, okay? Post-workout, I will have a traditional post-workout shake with the easy, absorbable whey protein that's going to break down into amino acids within like 20 minutes. And now you need some kind of carbohydrates. I like to eat my carbs rather than drink it at that point because carbs are enjoyable. At the post-workout shake, now you can have pancakes, you can have um, fruit, dates, bananas, uh, pineapple, whatever. So fructose is okay, but majority should come from glucose sources. And then my next meal would be typical bodybuilding meal, chicken and rice or a sweet potato, potato, whatever else. So you will have still lean protein and a complex carbohydrate. They're going to keep replenishing your glycogen for hours to come. After that, you don't really need any more of the carbohydrates. You can stick with just protein, protein and vegetables, protein, vegetables and fat. 
depending on your metabolism and, and your caloric intake in total. But anabolic phase during a training, that's the opportunity when you can shove everything in. That's only opportunity during a day when you have so much blood there. If blood is saturated with all these nutrients, it's saturated. And then insulin is released because of carbohydrates. I'm not going to say because you use insulin, but uh, you can have endogenous insulin release. Insulin takes everything that is in the bloodstream and puts to the first available tissues and cells. Blood is in a muscle, working muscle, with the constant muscle contractions in, in uh, training. The only place that everything can go is only muscle tissue. This is why I do it. Because for me, that makes perfect sense. 